you live out here on this island? Shh, get down! With your family? My wife is... She died. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Come on, we're about there. They didn't see us. Let's go. This is ridiculous. There's nothing out here. What about over there? I heard you were looking for a new place. Not sure I can afford the rental. Looks like you met has a family. Jesus! Ah! Maybe this... If I wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. Reminds me of shit summer camps. <laughs> I 
Okay. If I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. You see the control panel? It's trashed. I don't even think there's power. can get this thing working. Jamie, can you fix this? What's through here? Hear that? I wonder what these are.
Oh, God, that's so much better. I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. If I'm a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're going to find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Coming or what? Uh-huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. Oh, shit! We're all gonna die! Just go. <laughs> oh, my God. Relax, Mark. Oh, that serious drop. You good? Oh, man. Want a piggyback ride? Don't be an asshole. Okay, sorry. Remember what your therapist friend said? That belittling your neuroses is not an effective strategy to help you overcome them. I know. I'm saying I'm sorry. Thank you. Here, give me your hand. That's it. Look, it's fine. I'm not looking. <laughs> Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? Not so bad. <sighs> Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. This place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Hello. wonder who you are. What are you doing? I... I saw a little girl. Up there. Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Man, this is brilliant. Whoa. Look at this. It's... Amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumet, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you.
Mama Mama. Busy, busy, busy. You've been out in a bad all day. And I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day and not a word from you. Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, a staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's, it's just a haul, dude. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Mm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure? What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school? What do I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows what you know. What is that? Wine. Genius. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out. And lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't... Cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. You're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? Oh, I know. Where'd it go? Uh... It's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. <coughs> you trying to scare me now? <coughs> no. Revenge? Because good job. You sure you're okay? Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I... 
I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? I, like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it, but... Dust and allergies and... I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah. Cozy. <laughs> you gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones. A hint of citrus. And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. <laughs> oh, sorry. The wine is trash. Totally lied about that. Really? Uh huh. Sorry, what I said earlier. I didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Or that I don't think you're cute too. It's just, um. What are you doing? I, oh my God, I, uh, I... <laughs> oh, you bitch! I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. Oh! Oh, sorry, sorry. Who is that? <sighs> what the fuck, Charlie? You just standing there trying to listen in? What? No, I was just about to knock. What do you want? Did I, did I interrupt something? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. Yeah, yes. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. Okay, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. <sighs> To be continued, then? Yes, definitely. Good luck finding your rooms. <clears throat> come on, come on, let's go. Where the hell are they going?
I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I look fucking stressed? Uh... That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing. Makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumet. Did you find them? I... no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Jesus. Check the other bag. Didn't you already? Just look. It's only clothes and, uh... Uh, this. Notice of eviction. The studio? I paid the studio rent out the wrong account and the check bounced. It's nothing. I just have to use another... It's fine. So you're saying not to worry? Worry about finding my bloody cigarettes. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I... I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. A mental note isn't good enough. Details matter. Yes. Got it. I will try to do better. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient... You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. So, I know you said it wasn't a thing, but that bank notice... You're fixating, which normally I applaud, but not about this. I mean, you'd tell us if we were in danger of losing our jobs, right? It's television. Everyone is always in danger of losing their jobs. Sure, but... It's fine. Erin, please. I've squared it all with the network. We're still working on this final episode, and they're paying your salary, not me. Well, but... You have to let this go. We're fine, Erin, okay? Hey, Charlie, I was hoping next season maybe I could do more with the sound design, more creative stuff. Erin, what you already do for this company is very valuable to us. Carrying your bags and picking up your laundry? Absolutely. To get ahead in this industry, you have to pay your dues. Show you're ready to muck in. I... I think you should get an assistant. An assistant? Oh, it was just a stupid idea, Charlie. I'm An just... assistant? A personal assistant? Sort of. And then I could help out with the editing. Pardon me? The editing? The audio mix. Look, I just think you've got so much to give, so much experience. And it's an opportunity to pass that knowledge on. Right. Yes, I suppose it is. And an assistant wouldn't lose my cigarettes, would they? Exactly. So, do you still want to direct movies, Charlie? I am directing. No, but I mean real movies. With a big budget and big stars. Hey, maybe Mr. Dumet is in the back office. You could just ask him about cigarettes. Erin, there's something important that you have to understand. In the work that we do, the very important work, the truth is the star. 
Oh, right. Yeah, sorry, Charlie. So you don't want to direct movies. Can we move on from this? Found the key. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. Hello? Mr. Dumet? Wow. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. What will it be, Mr. Dumet, sir? I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Barman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, of course it wants exact change. Damn it! Next round's on me. Promise. Yes! Come to daddy. Oi! Oi! Oh, no, 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 please! Come on, no! Thank you, Lord.
What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <clears throat> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm going to go and get my key grip, and they are going to kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah. If we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. I turned down that job because that would have left you alone with Charlie. How cruel do you think I am? I'm being serious. So am I. Fine. I'll drop it. Great. Let me grab the camera. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. We can get Jamie to set up some lights. No, I don't want to wait around. I want to shoot something before dinner, otherwise Charlie is going to be in my face all evening. And to be honest, I'm at capacity with Jamie. I get it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean... They all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. Before we, look, can I say something? We agreed that we're sticking to just the job. Right, which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I, okay, you're right. That wasn't fair, I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff, just work. I can't, this is just proving harder than I thought. I don't want to be the one to- And I quote, to accept the reality that this did not and will not work. Sound familiar? Just because I said it, doesn't mean I want to accept it. So try harder. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird ass rules. How's the new place? It'll do for now. Do you like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's mm, smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I So if Dumek catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe we should take care. Probably. Huh, guess we're not totally alone. 
Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Oh, what was your first clue? When he took away our phones like we were kind of teenagers? <laughs> shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. Gotta be a way through. Look at this wallpaper. This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. There, see that key? Just need to find a way through. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the... On January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? You're taking a survey, you're trying to learn something. Did it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh, allegedly killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me. Rod is going to set in. Right. That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. Old house. Island beaches with dead fish. Animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell.
You can do this. There's something back here. Hi. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. <laughs> Fuck! You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but... Imagine if you were in his shoes, 40-something, still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. I guess I thought we'd move on together, like a team. Mark, this isn't your passion. It's just a job for you until you get your name out there as a photographer. You can't expect- I know. I hate this shitty documentary stuff. 
Charlie hasn't got a clue about how to frame a shot, let alone tell a story. Then get on with it. You're right. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. Kate! Mark! Dinner is on. Aren't you hungry? Yeah, on our way! Great. Did he hear us? Obviously, Mark. 